What's up ghouls? It's Blaze and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming a rather long video so make sure you're nice and comfy and ready to watch. Um, it's not necessarily something that's requested but I feel like it could be useful um, and you guys have asked for more personal videos where I kind of sit and talk and give my opinions and beliefs and just talk about my life so I feel like this is a good blend of um, those kind of things and it's also going to help people in some way so I'm filming my university experience video what the fuck is happening apologies about the rude interruption from my neighbours it is never calm <laughs> um, yeah so I'm filming my university experience video um, before I get into it going to give you a few basics so you know what's going on in this video. Now there's a plane! Okay so the university that I attended was Southampton Solent University so it's based in the centre of Southampton right at the bottom of England. Um, I did a just a normal like degree course it was a three-year course it was fashion styling when I first started that was the title and then <clears throat> Midway through they changed it to fashion styling with creative direction because um, basically it would make us more employable, that's why they changed it. Um, so I've graduated with fashion styling with creative direction. Um, like I said, three year course, no placement, nothing like that and when I started I was 18 years old so the normal age to start university in um, England straight from college. To university so I wasn't a mature student or anything like that so can't comment in terms of that but I can comment in terms of first you know a university experience for the majority of people and I received the maximum loan and grant because my income was based or my allowance was based off of just my mum's income because my parents are divorced and she doesn't earn that much money so um, yeah so those are just a few of the basics so you know where we're at. So if you're about to start at uh, Solon or if you are interested in studying fashion then this video could definitely be useful to you. So I've made some notes on um, each year and I've got some key points for each year um, that are going to help you kind of understand what I'm talking about. So. <clears throat> for my first year of university I lived in student halls. My family or like my mum's home was about a 15 minute drive, it took me 20 minutes on the bus but I wanted the full university experience so I moved into halls. I moved into Kimber halls for those of you that are interested and I was in, I was on the first floor in like a sleep kitchen. Um, so there was 10 people to one kitchen in my area. Um, and when I first moved in there were five girls and five boys so it was pretty even. My actual experience of moving in, I was so excited, I was so ready for it. I know a lot of people are like ridiculously nervous but I had watched so many videos, I felt really prepared and I was just, I couldn't wait to, to go. If you guys want a video on like what to pack, what to bring, then I could definitely do that. I don't know if that's going to be of any use to you guys, but if you would like that then comment that down below. But yeah, I I don't think I really had anything that I was missing or, you know, I didn't get there and think, oh my god, I've left like my laptop. I don't know. I was pretty organised and... Yeah, moving in was really, really exciting. My mum and dad came with me. We moved all my stuff into halls. Um, I made it look super cute, super spooky, so that was fun. Um, and I think a lot of people were kind of dropping their stuff off and then exploring the town with their parents um, because for most people it's a new town, but obviously I've grown up there, so I already knew um, about the town, so I didn't really have a need for that. Um... Yeah, so my moving experience was really good. There was people that help you um, like unload the stuff from your car and take it to your room, so that was really nice. Um, my room was a, um, an ensuite, so that was definitely good. My younger sister recently finished her first year at uh, Surrey University in Guildford, I think. I think that's right. 
um, and she had a shared bathroom and she did not enjoy that so I wouldn't recommend a shared bathroom. So in terms of my um, like friends situation and meeting people I in the first part I was really good friends with majority of people who I lived with it was really nice we got on really well we built like a fort in the kitchen, we had nights out, we watched movies together, it was really really nice. Um, but three of the girls ended up leaving uni and just never came back. So we had more people move in and it ended up being eight boys to two girls and majority of the boys were all of this one friendship group who were basically not the sort of people that I would choose to hang out with so they were very loud and they played football in the corridor, kicked the ball against your door, listened to music that I do not enjoy very loudly, they often had people over, um, they just weren't people that I personally get on with so I spent a lot of the second semester at my boyfriend's house um, because he was in his last year. Um, so towards the end I really did not enjoy the halls experience and I couldn't wait to leave. Um, but if you get lucky and you get really nice roommates then it is a really nice experience. So in terms of the work for first year we had, I've been trying to remember and I think we had five or six units so I know we had makeup and hair so on the course you learn basic makeup and hair techniques such as I don't know how to blow dry, how to straighten, how to curl, certain updos and then for face you learn how to do like the perfect base, you learn to contour, you learn to I don't know, eye makeup, lip application, stuff like that, but it's not in terms of like doing it on yourself to make yourself look good, it's doing it on, not even like a client, it's literally just like on a model for a photo shoot, that is the main thing that you are taught. Um, the whole of the course is very um, commercial based, very magazine based, there's some editorial but a lot of the emphasis is on commercial and a lot of it is based on magazines. So if that's something you're interested in the course is definitely good for you but if you want to do more creative, more out there editorial or you want to do film work or you're interested in styling celebrities this really isn't the course for you, you don't have a lot of room in the first and second year to do those things. Um, you have a unit called Styling Fundamentals where you're supposed to learn the basics of styling, which you don't. Um, I feel there's a lot of things that we could have learned that we didn't, such as how to dress someone depending on their body type, how to steam a garment, how to, I don't know, what kind of kit you should have. You're not taught those things. Again, it's just very on set. You should, I don't know, like make sure the model's happy, make sure the clients are happy, do what the client tells you to and it's just like that. You are taught a photography unit which is helpful if you've never worked in a studio setting. I have, um, I did photography for four years before I started so I was um, confident with like actual camera, how to use a camera but the studio bit was helpful but they go through that in second year and third year so you really don't need to go to the second and third year camera classes because they are so incredibly dull they are just a repeat of the same thing over and over and over again so that was kind of annoying um you have a written assessment in either the first or second semester um in which they kind of ease you into how to write an essay it's fairly short i think like 2500 words um but it gets you kind of in the right place for your dissertation so it is useful and they do a unit alongside that which is um, like a series of lectures on fashions from the 20s right up until current day um, like each era which is helpful but then if you do makeup and hair in second year then they do those lectures all over again so it's really boring and you literally don't need to go to those either so yeah in my first year I didn't work um, I didn't have like employment, I didn't have a job and I did find money really really difficult. I know they give you a certain loan and a grant but it's my accommodation was quite expensive so I did definitely struggle. My mum and my dad would send me £15 a month as like pocket money so that did come in handy but obviously it wasn't like a lot. Over Christmas I did temporarily work for River Island for it was literally like 
halfway through November to the end, no, to the beginning of January. So I earned a little bit of money, but not a lot. And by the end, I was completely broke. I was borrowing money off of Jake and I had to borrow money from my Nana to pay my rent um, over the summer. So it was really, really difficult. So if you're not in a position where your parents can bail you out like a lot of other people, then you definitely need to get some sort of job, some sort of income. Um, yeah, in terms of friends and social life, I had a really good experience with first year. I joined a society, which was the Metal and Rock Society, and we do frequent pub crawls and meetings and trips out. So we do like a trip to Play Zone where everyone just got drunk on vodka slushies and it, it was a really good time. So a society is definitely a great way to meet people and to, I don't know, just have more of a social life because the people on my course I didn't necessarily get along with. Um, my style is more out there and is more alternative. Um, especially so in first year I was very did like full goth makeup most days um, whereas the people on my course were I don't want to sound rude but basic um, and they were the sort of people who just wouldn't give you a chance um, so I didn't really have a lot of friends on my course I had one best friend on my course um, which she swapped courses after that first year so we didn't really see each other as much um but yeah so my friend group was from the society rather than um my course so yeah society is definitely a really good way it's where i met my boyfriend and we've now been together for two and a half coming up to three years so it is it's nice um so yeah i had quite a good social life in the first year and so my living situation, I would sum it up as it started off well, ended poorly, um, in terms of friends on my course, pretty rubbish. In terms of a social life, it was quite good. Money wise, awful. And difficulty of the course, I would say it was really easy. Um, they do kind of ease you into it and there isn't too much you're not swamped with deadlines it is a fairly easy year so on to the second year my accommodation changed i moved into a shared house with three other people so they were all from my course one was never in my classes he was always in other classes but we met at a networking event and um, he was very kind of flamboyant and out there and his style was interesting so we became really good friends um, I'm going to use kind of like code names for these people because I no longer speak to any of them um, and just for like privacy so we'll call him um, Lewis, we'll call him Lewis and then there were two other girls who were on my course who I became good friends with um, during that year so we'll call them Janice and Catherine. So Lewis, Janice and Catherine are who I lived with. So living situation was at first really, really good. We didn't have a communal room, which was a bit annoying, like as in like a living room. So we couldn't hang out that much, but it was um, really exciting and really fun to live with friends. So Lewis and I would often hang out in my room because my room was a lot bigger and um, just like sit and talk or play with makeup and stuff like that. So it was really nice. Um, Janice and Catherine didn't move in until September, whereas Lewis and I moved in in July. So we were a lot closer when they moved in. When they moved in, again, it was really fun, really good. We'd all hang out together. And then slowly it all started to change. So the thing that you need to be really, really careful with when you move in with people is you need to know them so well, or you need to be extremely lenient because I am a very introverted person. I like a lot of alone time. I need to just recharge. I'm also a fairly clean person um, and I don't like a lot of mess, especially if it's food mess. And I, I have always been able to look after myself I've always been rather independent in terms of like cleaning up and I don't know just generally knowing things like if the lights go off it's probably a fuse so you need to flip the switch and you'll be fine or 
I don't know just general things I am more than confident in and like working the heating I was the only one in that house who knew how to work the heating or I managed all of the bills they were all in my name because no one else would step up to do it so I had a lot of um, responsibility in that house and as time went on I didn't like to hang out with them as much as they liked to hang out with each other so I was kind of left to one side and then there'd be a lot of arguments about, I don't know, they would just go through ridiculous amounts of toilet roll and it would be such a small argument and then it would like blow up or they wouldn't clean the bathroom properly or there would be leftover food and obviously I'm not saying I'm a perfect roommate, I would often like not do my dishes or just leave them on the side and I'd come back to them and then someone would have a go or I don't know there was just lots of little things um that we argued about and we didn't talk it out properly so it got very bitchy and there was a period where Lewis and I were kind of on one side and Janice and Catherine were on the other side and we didn't speak we didn't hang out together um and it got very awkward until we kind of all talked it out and then it was fine again and then it ended up at the end of it where um, Lewis was kind of on his own and Janice, Catherine and I were friends um, due to him basically I'm not going to sugarcoat it he was stealing he was stealing food he was stealing makeup he was stealing just random things from us that was just ridiculous you felt that you couldn't lock your you couldn't leave your room unlocked, you felt that you couldn't leave your food in the fridge and it just got too much. We also had like an infestation, not, that sounds really dramatic, there was rats, we were fairly certain there was rats and they, the rats would like eat food that was left out so I, rats are like my biggest phobia so I would like just go home or stay in my room, not leave the room, I was absolutely petrified. Um, eventually the landlord came to sort it. Um, in terms of the work, the work was um, manageable in, well the first term was very difficult, they really piled it on so you had your choice, you got to choose one thing that you wanted to do, um, you could choose a language, you could choose makeup and hair, you could choose work based learning, I picked makeup and hair and then you also have your dissertation proposal and then you also have a unit where you work with a brand but the brand was a charity, it wasn't like a real brand it was just a few charity shops in the area so it was really disappointing because they hyped it up and made it sound that like we were going to have such a good experience in the industry but we really didn't um, so it was really full on trying to get everything submitted for that and then in the second semester you had two units and one unit you literally had to make a professional Instagram, a professional Facebook a LinkedIn, write a CV and that was it, that was your unit done that's literally like this, that unit to me was very ridiculous but anyway you had that and then you had one more unit and that unit you had to create a website but it wasn't really a website it was all mostly done for you, you just had to take like the banner from a website and put it on your thing, you had to like copy and paste the bars and put them on, it really was just like copy and paste and then you had to produce five images and a gif and that was your unit, again really easy so second year in terms of work was really full on in the first semester and just there was just no point in the second semester my accommodation in my shared house it started off well ended on a really bad note we all ended up in a huge argument and it didn't end well in terms of my friend circle it was really really tight it was just those three people I lived with and then when we'd fall out it was awful because I'd have to be in class with people that I wasn't friends with in terms of work, I did have a job in the second year, it's the job that I currently work in now. Um, so I started at the local, it was like a fancy dress shop and also a toy shop, not in an adult sexual way, literally like a children's toy store but also with fancy dress, very strange but that's where I worked. And I started off doing only like one shift a week and then I went up, I was doing five shifts a week in the holidays and then in term time I was doing either two or three and then every other weekend and it was far too much work and I was just struggling in the first semester to balance all of my classes and work and homework so it was really really difficult in the second semester not too bad because we didn't really have much uni stuff and we didn't have a lot of contact time so I could work the hours 
but getting the actual work done was a push. And money-wise, I was a little bit better off, but I was still paying off all of the money I'd borrowed, so money-wise wasn't that great either. In terms of third year, my accommodation increased incredibly. I moved into a flat with Jake, my boyfriend. It's the flat I am in now. Um, so we've been here for about a month and a half. What? I'm so dumb. A year and a half. No, we've been here just over a year just over a year um so the accommodation is lovely uh, it's just jake me and pumpkin our little cat so it's really really nice i'm really happy here i definitely felt my mental health improved um compared to second year because like i said i'm such an introvert and i had time to come home and recover and just be me instead of feeling really awkward in a house and here we have like the living room that we can sit in and relax in whereas in first and second year everything we did we ate in the bedroom we chilled out in the bedroom I did my homework in the bedroom it was very it was too much for me basically it just felt too claustrophobic whereas here it's a lot more open and I'm a lot happier in terms of my friend circle I ended up I stopped speaking to Lewis in second year, we haven't spoken since. Um, in terms of Catherine and Janice, we were friends at the beginning of the year and then they, we had a falling out, we made up again and then we fell out. They've ended up blocking me on everything, no idea why, so we don't speak anymore. Um, so third year I didn't really have any friends, which wasn't too bad because you all get split up into separate groups for your final major project. They weren't in my group, so I didn't really need to like sit there with my friends and talk. I would just turn up to the lessons and then come home. It felt very much like, um, it was very independent in the third year. Your focus is on your final major project. You do have a dissertation, but it, it doesn't really matter. You also have to complete work-based learning, which is 100 hours of work experience, um, which was really difficult. So in the third year, I was managing living in the flat in terms of like maintaining the housework, laundry and cleaning and dishes and stuff like that. I then had university where I had my units and projects to hand in. So I had to attend the classes and then do work outside of that. I then have my job, which I needed to be able to pay for everything because my grant and loan weren't enough. I then had work experience where I had to complete 100 hours. So I worked for an online magazine called Anon Magazine. I'll link it below if you're interested. Really not that exciting, but I'll link it below. Um, and I started off as, so there's like the base team that everyone was and I started off there. Then I got promoted to admin and I was there for about a month and then I got promoted to editor of, oh my god, special features, special features editor. So the work kept piling on and on and on. Um, I did complete my 100 hours so it was fine but I still had to continue on after that because that was like in the contract. So I had a lot on my plate. So in terms of difficulty, third year is definitely the hardest because you have to juggle so many things. So your dissertation is literally like no one really cares obviously you still need to do well because you have to pass all of your units to get your degree but it's not the high the most highly ranked the most highly ranked is your final major project which is all you focus on in your second semester that and then handing in your work-based learning unit um but yeah so for final major project i ended up producing a coffee table book and i'm extremely disappointed because i had planned a really cool project based off of um topics that I'm really passionate about, a style of photography that I'm really interested in and I'd started buying props, I'd bought some dresses and I had planned all of my shoots, I knew the layout of the book, I knew everything I wanted to do and I got assigned a mentor and she made me change it to something that she was interested in, loosely connected to my idea and my whole passion for the project just dissolved I didn't want to be in uni anymore, I, I didn't have any friends at uni, I didn't enjoy the unit anymore, the actual, I plateaued in terms of learning, they didn't really teach you about styling anymore, you, you learn a little bit in the first year and that's it, like I've learned how to use Photoshop and InDesign which is helpful, I've learned how to shoot in a studio which is helpful, but those are literally the only things I've learned, I've learned more makeup and hair from watching YouTube videos than I have 
in class. I've learned more about styling techniques, watching videos than I have in class. I do feel like the three years were not wasted because I wouldn't have met Jake, I wouldn't be in this apartment, I wouldn't have pumpkin, I probably wouldn't be this far on YouTube. But in terms of an education, that course was definitely a waste. So I don't recommend the course unless you really are passionate about styling and then there are some opportunities that can come your way but you have to be so 100% driven and I'm just not like what I've learned from this course is that I don't want to be a stylist I don't really want to be in the fashion industry it's not something that I aspire to do in terms of like I don't want to live in London and work ridiculous hours and do crazy shifts all for I don't know getting my work in a magazine that's just not me that's not what I'm interested in um I I just don't want that kind of life my main focus is I want a family and I'm very family orientated and I just want to enjoy life and experience fun things rather than which sounds so dramatic but like be a slave to the fashion industry if that makes any sense so yeah i think what you can take from this video is if you are like me you are rather introverted and you are somewhat different i would recommend halls for the first year and then your own private flat in the second and third year i would recommend being completely sold on the course a hundred percent before you decide to do it don't do something just for the sake of it if you really want a career in that industry you can do it you just have to be so driven and you have to really want it um, attend all your classes attend all your lectures hand in your work and don't just do the bare minimum if they say three to five images do the five um, when you've got downtime go and practice shooting or go and interview someone or go and whatever for your work experience really go out there and try and get experience in the industry don't just do the bare minimum you have to really really push it um, because university is so independent you have to be your own motivator which is something I found really difficult um, particularly because I lost passion for the course um, but you really have to motivate yourself um, yeah I guess that's everything that I wanted to talk about. I've probably forgotten some stuff, so if there's anything that you really want to know, then you can comment down below and ask, and I'll be more than happy to answer your questions. Um, yeah, I guess that's kind of all I have to say. So, sorry this video was so long. Hopefully I'll be able to edit it down, but it is a whole three years of my life squashed into a video, so it's bound to be slightly longer than usual. I hope you enjoyed watching this video, I hope it was either useful for you or entertaining and if you made it this far in the video comment down below, tell me what you studied at uni or tell me what you would like to study if you are considering going. So thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you guys next time, bye!